thanks everyone for inviting us here. We are honored to be here with you guys, and I'm excited to, that's, that's what we do, right? We, we share universal language, which is music, uh, with I am Andy Gennard uh, from Hastings. Uh, I do geometric paintings. Um, each one is one flat piece of high density fiberboard or masonite. Uh, they're all hand cut, hand drawn, and hand painted to look like overlapping geometric shapes. Um, some of it's done with a paintbrush, some of it's done with an airbrush. Um, and for the most part, I'm just Hi, having I'm fun Schweitzer playing around. Blue Eyed Boutique. I have a lot of different things that I do. I make jewelry. I do copper etchings um, with an acid etched method. I do leather purses. Um, I have leather journals and Bible covers, um, bookmarks, and then I do these cowboy boot crosses with the tops of cowboy boots. I've been doing it for probably 15 years or so, changing as I go. I've added new things. Uh, Hi, I'm Cindy Powell from Kearney, Nebraska, and I'm here at the Art Walk in Aurora, Nebraska. I'm a digital photo artist, and my topic or my subjects are all nature. I got into this because I've been taking pictures of nature and doing gardening for many, many years. And I really do this to share, to share nature um, and flowers with everybody else. My name is Kathy Kaufman. I am a fabric artist and an instructor. So I love to make um, fabric art, usable fabric art. And I also love to teach it. What inspires me most is, uh, actually, I'm a Jesus girl, so um, God inspires me a lot to do my things. I'm also a farmer's daughter, farmer's wife. So I have um, made, my, probably my favorite things to do are um, grain silos and longhorns and windmills, which are all have to do with the farm. But I have a lots of other interests as well. I have 11 grandkids, so a lot of things are inspired by them. Um, I also love the, um, the desert, the cactuses, so a lot of those are, are that. Um, I really love to teach it. I love to teach um, kids. Kids love this because it's a, it is, it looks complicated, but it's a very easy technique. And once you learn the technique that I teach you, um, it just needs, you just need to know how to run an iron and um, it, it's all fusible. So I teach classes and kids are in them. Um, I've had some men in my classes, uh, just artists in general love to do this. It's just very, it's art on the wall with fabric. Um, so um, uh, I, I would, you know, love to teach anywhere. Um, I love to uh, sell my stuff as well, inspire people to hang it on their walls. Um, it is very colorful. I love it because it is colorful. I hope people do too. Hi, I'm Lynette Fest, and I am from Lincoln, Nebraska. I am an art educator and an artist, and I spent 30 years of my career teaching in Lincoln Public Schools, teaching art, and now I'm on the artist side of it. I uh, spend a lot of time teaching kids about art. Now I am more of a creator myself. And so I am a jewelry maker. I work with sterling silver and copper primarily. I uh, set stones. I do all kinds of fabrication work. I'm also a painter and I prefer to work with mixed media uh, using materials that I take inspiration from my garden and use materials actually from my garden to press and print into my paintings and um, I have a lot of different things that I work with so um, you'll have to come and take a look I have my newest uh, line of jewelry that I call melts because now I am challenging myself to take the metal to its melting point and stop just before it melts 
and capture the organic flow and movement that's happening in the metal. Hi, my name is Carol Crowley. I'm from Wymore, Nebraska. My inspiration for my macrame and cross stitch come from a 30 year career as an art teacher at Southern Schools in Wymore and seven years at SEC in Beatrice. I taught macrame to students back in the 70s. I know that dates me, but I got inspired to do it again and I'm really enjoying it and having a lot of fun. Be sure to come out and see us here today. Um, this is my, I think, eighth year doing Art Walk and um, some of the things that I like to do, I like to dabble in watercolors, acrylics, um, I dabble in photography. I'm also a K-12 art teacher and that's why I like to dabble in everything so I can keep myself fresh for my kids. Um, I've been doing a lot of monochromatic style things lately, doing layered landscapes, and I've been recently experimenting with a lot of um, textures and acrylic paint for landscapes. And I'm so happy to be here today, and hopefully you guys can come out and join us. And I'm from Hampton, Nebraska, but I'm going to college in Hastings, and that's where I really found my love of ceramics. Right now I have a bunch of pottery, but I'd consider myself kind of more of a sculptor. I just think pottery is a fun pastime, and it's very therapeutic, and you don't have to do very much thinking, but there's still so much personality in every cup, like you have a soup bowl, or um, just one for a regular hot drink. And I've just been mostly messing around with different glaze combos. This one especially, I've seen a lot of um, internet posts about um, using underglaze, mixing it with dish soap and water, and then putting a straw in there and bubbling it up and applying it to the muck. And I think that was really cool and kind of successful. And um, here's a few other pieces. I'd say I really like scraffito. That's where you carve the top layer um, and then reveal the bottom layer, which was uh, earthenware, and the top layer was porcelain. And I haven't done very much raku, but I think it's pretty fun. This is a uh, naked raku, and you burnish the pot to make it shiny and smooth, and I applied some horse hair, and it was a really fun experiment. And this one over here is also raku, um, but it's not naked raku, there's glaze, and I did a little bit of experimenting. Usually you wouldn't put under glaze under there, at least my professor said it wouldn't work out, but um, I think you can see the green pretty clearly in all of the stems. And yeah, it's just all very fun experiments and a lot of happiness that's involved. Hi, so I paint with acrylic is my main focus. I do a lot of abstract work. I also really love still lifes and bringing them into the abstract. I get inspired by a lot of things and beauty around me, such as butterflies. Uh, apples, fruit are very popular things for me, or just the shapes of humans. Uh, the figure is a favorite of mine, so that often appears in my work, and that's kind of what inspires what I do. My name is Gabrielle. Hi. My name is Mary Matner. Um, this is DNM stained glass. My husband Dennis and myself do it. Uh, we had moved. We got into making stained glass because in 2006 we moved from California to Nebraska, and we decided we needed a hobby to do in the wintertime. So we started doing stained glass, and then finally we got so many uh, pieces, we didn't know what to do with them all. So we decided- Hi, I'm Tanya Grosians. Um, I'm an artist here at the Art Walk, and I'm also on the Art Walk Committee. Um, I've been doing Art Walk for probably over five years now, so my medium is acrylic, and I like to do um, a little bit of abstract. I like to incorporate cows, windmills, all types of different things that I see around in my community. I started out painting cows for my house, and then my friends wanted different things, so then I started creating and painting things like windmills and barns. So I've just kind of expanded and gone from there.